Hello YouTube, this is my review of the Kilowatt Easy uh, Power Meter slash Reader, if you will. Um, I've been using this for a couple years now, so I'd like to do a review on it because I find it to be really useful. Uh, right now I have it hooked up to some fish tanks to find out the power usage on them and uh, self-created LED lights on them and stuff. So that's why you hear all that water sound and everything. But uh, it's a really cool tool to find out how much you're spending on electricity on certain items. Uh, it's also awesome for finding uh, what they call those vampire um, appliances, which are appliances that stay plugged into the wall and uh, keep using power even when they're off. So just to show you on the fish tanks here, okay, it's got various settings. The first thing you want to do, if you push menu, uh, well actually the first thing you want to do, which I'm not going to do because I'm still reading the uh, power, is you see that purple button? That is your set button, and to the left of that you have a reset button. If you push the reset button, it starts the whole meter all over on its reading. So it starts like, clears everything out, except for how much your energy is. Uh, Massachusetts, I'm um, doing an average of 14.4 uh, cents per kilowatt hour. So that's my rate, okay? And then if you push this up and down button, it goes through the different settings. Actually, if you put menu, it goes through different settings. So right now, it's reading 121 kilowatt hours, which is the current power usage, okay? If you push up, and it goes through a bunch of things. Actually, that's all it is on that one. So we push menu, it gives us even more options. Um, this has been running, sorry about me moving around, for 1,093 hours. And uh, it will store all the data within it as long as it stays plugged in. So, okay, push menu again. Uh, it shows you the voltage coming out of the uh, socket there. It says 122.9 volts, which is Around normal for the United States, we have 120 volts coming out of wall sockets. Push up has a power factor. It has the hertz, which is usually 60 in America. So 59.9 is, is good. Uh, volt ampage, I think that's what VA stands for. Um, obviously, I'm not draw drawing 137 amps, so there's something to do with that. But the most important thing is the watts. Okay, and if you see on the right there, it says watts, and it says 135 watts. That is the current draw of what I have plugged into this thing. And again, the way I have this plugged in is I have all three tanks on one, one power strip, and I have that plugged into the meter. And then I have the meter itself, which you can plug into the wall. I find it useful to have a long cord so that you can plug the cord into the wall. And that way you can pick the meter up and down and move it around. But anyways, the current drawer is 135 watts on a 10 gallon, a 15 gallon high, and another 10 gallon. And that's with the lights off and heaters and filters and everything. So that's not that bad for three tanks if you ask me. Um, you're gonna find probably that the one that the most part uses is uh, LED lights, so. All right, let's move up from here now. So the watts is probably the most important thing you want to look at, other than the amps. That's the current amps. I'm pulling 1.11 amps. Okay, so I push menu again. Now it comes up with the second most important thing, or maybe the most important thing. It actually, as long as you put in how much you pay for a kilowatt hour, it'll tell you how much everything costs. This is from when I first started it. I've had a total of $17.49 since I first plugged it in and been monitoring the uh, fish tanks. If I push the up button, it breaks it down to the hour. So I'm paying about one cent an hour. Push up again. I'm paying 38 cents a day. Push up again. It goes to week and I'm paying $2.68 a week to run all that stuff. And then it goes by month if you push up again, and it says eleven fifty per month. And then finally, it's going to have a yearly cost. And now, of course, I haven't had this plugged in for a year, but it averages everything out according to what you have currently. 
and saying I'm spending $140 a year to power those three tanks, which is uh, pretty normal, you know. And that's with LED lighting, so it'd probably be even more if I use CFL or incandescent lighting. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. That's all it has. So that was my review of the Kilowatt Easy Power Reader. Um, I love it, you know. Uh, again, I talked about phantom power from devices. I'm not going to take this out and do this, but just to let you know how to do that, you would take this meter to different places. A uh, great place to go is in your kitchen, and you can put it in the wall, or again, use this cord and plug it in so you can move it around. And then you plug in each device while it's off, and it will show you under watts. It'll show you under watts. He just switched to 74 because my tanks, the heater probably went off. But I'll show you in watts how many how many watts it's pulling. So for example, uh, we plug this the Keurig uh, instant coffee maker into this, and we found out that uh, it runs six watts without it even being on. Just being plugged into the wall, it draws six watts. So for energy saving, I learned that I should just unplug the Keurig unless I use it, because I don't use it enough to justify leaving it in the wall drawing six watts all the time, which doesn't seem like a lot, but they all add up. If you go all around your house with the different appliances, uh, you'll find that you can knock off a lot of watts being used. And again, that's vampire power because it's just, you think it's not on, but then it's plugged in the wall and it's actually pulling those watts still. So again, this is a great tool uh, to have. I'm going to be moving out of this house and moving into a new house, so I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, searching around for power at my new house. And, uh, you know, just, just a great tool to have. Um, I can't remember what I paid for it because it's been a couple of years, but I want to say it was 20 something dollars. So, so for those energy conscious people, buy yourself a kilowatt easy power reader. It won't go wrong, and you'll really love it. And it really does make you uh, find out um, about power usage in your home. So I hope you enjoyed my review and uh, have a good night.